If God is not in your life, then there is something wrong with your relationship with Him. The problem is not with God. It's with yourself or someone else in your life who has taken God out of your life, or who has taken the place of God in your life by giving you bad advice, or by making decisions for you instead of allowing God to do so. There are no shortcuts to healing our hearts, but we can use this verse as a reminder that we must turn our attention back toward God if we are going to find joy again in this lifetime. We must turn our eyes back toward heaven, where all good things come from and where they dwell forevermore. God is saying, I am God. I am in charge of your life, and I am not going to let you down. You have a choice. You can believe in me, or you can believe that you are alone in this world. You can choose to trust me, or you can continue to doubt my existence and your own ability to make it through the day. Type M in. In, in Psalm 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me by quiet waters. He leads me by quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me. There's leadership. There's direction by the shepherd. He guides me along paths of righteousness for his, his namesake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So you mean to say that sometimes doing the right thing in my life means also like walking through a dark valley? Do you mean to say that walking in obedience and listening to the will of God means sometimes going through the valley of shadow of death? Going through hardship, going through tribulation, going through a season that I really wish I wasn't in right now. Sometimes doing the right thing. Sometimes listening to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes being fastened to the Holy Spirit means we suffer. We suffer with Christ. I believe with all my heart that you will welcome him with a global love and warmth. His name is Jesus Christ, and he is delighted to see you here. You are unique, an extraordinary person with unlimited potential and abilities. Never forget that your life is filled with opportunities and possibilities. No matter what challenges you face, believe in your ability to overcome them. Your efforts and perseverance will lead to beautiful outcomes. Have faith in yourself, move forward with courage, and no matter how difficult the road ahead may be, you will conquer obstacles and achieve your goals. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh rock, oh rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. God, I'm trying my best to get on the right path. I'm not perfect, and I don't claim to be. I just ask that you keep leading me in the right direction, because I can't do this by myself. Amen. There are over 6,000 promises in the Bible, but let me share this one with you. In Isaiah 43, verse 2, God says this, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you pass through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned up. It will not consume you. God is with you, and He loves you. You're not alone. I would rather walk with God with none of my questions answered than to walk through life without Him and know all the answers. Heavenly Father, thank you for filling our lives with overflowing power of your love. We ask you to continue to bless us and keep us safe as we lay to rest our tired minds and bodies tonight. We pray that you calm our worries when things feel uncontrollable and help us to trust in your plans. In Jesus' name, amen.